Welcome. So now let's take a look at a case study for security hardening for firewall. And this is firewall STIG from DISA, release 22 and 28 April 2017. Now, if you look at the release numbers um, in the STIGs, we have some releases which are even very small numbers, release number two, for example. Uh, I, I just looked at a STIG um, this morning from, which was just release number two. Now this is release number 22. So when the release number is high, it means that there, uh, there, there's a lot of changes and a, and a lot of emphasis on, uh, on that particular set, uh, control set, or that particular stick. So, um, so that also tells you, um, and usually that happens for most more commonly used equipment and IT infrastructure, they usually update it much more frequently. Okay, so uh, this is from 28th April 2017, uh, the firewall stick, and the stick viewer window should look like this when you have imported the STIG into the STIG viewer. Okay, so the rule title says, the device must be configured to protect the network against denial of service attacks such as ping of death, TCP SYN floods, etc. Okay, so we're trying to stop denial of service attacks here. And the severity is CAT2. It's not CAT1, it's not CAT3, it's in the middle, it's CAT2. So the severity level is moderate, and it gives us a vulnerability ID, which is 3156. So the, so the discussion says a SYN flood attack is a denial of service attack where the attacker sends a huge amount of please start a connection packets and then nothing else. This causes a device being attacked to be overloaded with the open sessions and eventually crashes because there's a processor overload. A ping sweep, um, the other type of DOS attack, also known as an ICMP sweep, is a basic network scanning technique used to determine which of a range of IP addresses map to live hosts or computers. Um, okay, so um, it's now going to guide us uh, on the check content, review the device configurations to determine if denial of service attacks are guarded against, and if the device is not configured to mitigate denial of service attacks, this is a finding. So it's not actually telling you how you should go and configure. So each benchmark or each stig has different level of detail. And uh, sometimes what happens is that the system administrator or the IT ops uh, personnel who are responsible for implementing the benchmark or the STIG, they may not understand exactly what the, what the STIG is asking for. This may depend on the maturity or experience of the resource, and if, especially if it's a new resource, they may not have experience on that particular feature. So always um, what you should do is that if you look at the STIG or benchmark, and you do not understand certain parts, then you should go and spend time on Google and query those particular key, key words and phrases uh, which you don't understand. Um, and what this will do is uh, give, will give you s the background and confidence to understand what this control is about, why it's there, how to fix it, and uh, there's, there's, there's tons of information on Google. And um, obviously, the skill set of the personnel will vary based on the organization and who is responsible for, for implementing the control. So we shouldn't be shy at all um, on looking at the STIG and then going and doing some background homework and checking uh, the detail which is available on the World Wide Web. Okay, fixed text. If the firewall support SYN flood or ping sweep protection, then enable these features. Um, so if the firewall has these features, then enable these features. If the firewall does not support these features, enable the security features on the router on an alternate device, do the same settings um, on an alternate device to protect the network from these DOS attacks. And this is the CCI control correlation identifier. It had a lot of information, which I haven't put here, but you can go ahead and um, you can look at the stick for getting those details. Thank you.